Well, well, I was out here fishing and filming another boat when I came across <laughs> this beauty. Look at this. This is like a 40 something footer. Probably 42, 45 footer. All right, so you know me, I'm aboard it. I already made sure, well, sorta, uh, made sure that nobody's on there. Um, this is out far away from shore. It's only in about two and a half feet of water, but it's way, way offshore. It's definitely a navigational hazard. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't think there's anybody on there. There could be though, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna border and look around and talk about everything on it and inside. Stay tuned. Look at this. Look what I came across completely by accident while out fishing. The patient sailor, Norfolk, Virginia. Looks to be about a 45 footer. It's got two masts. Sails are still on it. Wow. What a surprise. A listing pretty badly in two feet of water. What is that one called there? Is that the spinnaker or the genoa? Coming off the bow. Please let me know in the comments. Look at the beam on this boat. Wonder how it got here. So it looks like it's been here forever, but I haven't seen it before. is missing got some damage to its port side up there by the rail excuse me some more damage trim all the way around it. A couple green painted stripes. There's the name. Patient Sailor. Norfolk, Virginia. Good steering wheel is still there. Some fenders. All the winches. Wonder how long this has been here. Hello? Anyone there? Anyone need help? Be very careful when doing this. Oh, that's 
very hazardous. manatee right there. Tie it off. Coming aboard. Hello. screens. vacuum cleaner of some sort fire extinguisher attachment for the winches I believe look at all the water in this two two and a half feet of water refrigerator right there see up into the front looks like a bunk bed up front on the left <laughs> very cool wood flooring wood cabinetry Such a shame. Wonder what happened to her. Let's close this if I can. There we go. equipment there. Steering wheel still here. Yeah, special tees company. Very cool. I got my shoes on this time, so I'm good. Traction. 
life vest, some fenders. I'm not going to walk up to the bow there because I'll probably end up slipping. See how steep of an incline it is. Man, the mass are huge. Here this is. Somebody's gonna eventually grab that steering wheel. Empty it. Let's see what's in this hatch right here. A bunch of rope. Yeah. Right, got the gearbox for the steering. This thing it's on this much of an angle oh I'd like to get up there in the front hatch oh there's the handles for the winches right there look at that pretty cool Ford handles. It's a very old sailboat. One time, very nice sailboat. I wish I could look through that front hatch. See if I could go take a look. I'm gonna have to get back on my skiff though. If I held on to this, boom, I could probably make it. Boy, this is an adventure here. Look at all the barnacles on her. <laughs> I don't know what that box is for. Some wires coming out of it. I don't know if I'm gonna be on be able to get on her bow. That's awfully steep. I'd love to be able to open up that front hatch and look down to the V-berth. Uh, it's too risky. Man. If I fall in that water, I'm going to get all tangled up in these ropes and chains and cables. Well, I'd be messed up. And I'm out here by myself several miles from the ramp. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well. Look at this ladder. <laughs> Wooden cable ladder goes up the mast. That is so cool. This has got to be one of the neatest sailboats I've come across yet. I just wish it wasn't listing so bad because it's just it's got a huge inside area. And the port side is high enough up out of the water where I could probably walk along it, along it, but uh, I don't know. It's too risky, I guess, right now. Like the windlass is still there. All the chain's gone, but windlass for the anchor is still there. Somebody's eventually gonna grab that too. I guarantee it. All right. Well. Man, so cool. This is very, very old. I would say this is probably a 50s sailboat. I'm gonna try to get a whole identification number from it. Maybe I could look it up and get some information. Man, very, very cool. The woodwork, oh my goodness. It's 
little skylight somebody made skylight right there I'm not sure what that is for I th think that yeah that lifts open there's a hinge up the middle so that lifts open maybe to let air in I'm not sure I'm still learning about these type of boats but very very cool very intriguing the sail is still here tore up of course but still here wow if you like this boat please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment i would greatly appreciate it That was a pretty awesome boat. I think I'm gonna have to come back and do a part two on this one because on the port, the port side is listing high enough to where it's still dry inside. And I think I could walk along the inside all the way up to the front because right now when I'm looking down in her, I can't see up to the V berth, the door shut. But I think if I get back inside, walk along the port side, I can go up to the front and show you all inside because as I was walking across the top I couldn't get to that front hatch because of the steep incline and I have slippery shoes on so one false slip and boom I'm down in the cables and ropes and chains and and eventually in the water with all my equipment being damaged so I'm not doing that um, but anyways I think I'm gonna come back with the right gear and get inside. Um, there's a lot of nice woodwork still in there. Um, a lot of possessions, a lot of tools, all types of stuff in there. So I just wanna go in there and look around and talk about the stuff. Um, all the sails are still here. Some still ripped up, but some are still intact. And um, man, that was awesome. I think this is one of my favorite boats yet. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up, please. And until next time, later.